Hello, this is Alakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will discuss ARM resistor set. The ARM architecture provides a total of 37 resistors, including all general purpose and the special function resistors, all of which are 32 bit long. A one dedicated program counter, one dedicated current program status resistors, five dedicated saved program status resistors, and the 30 general purpose resistors. However, these are arranged into a several banks with the accessible bank being covered by the current processor mode. We will see this in more detail in a couple of slides. In a summary though, in each mode, the core can access a particular set of 13 general purpose register R0 to R12 and the particular R13 which is typically used as a stack pointer and this will be a different R13 for each mode. So allowing each exception type to have its own stack. A particular R14 which is used as a link or a return address register, again this will be a different R14 for each mode. R15 who is only using as a program counter and the CPSR current program status register stores additional information about the state of the processor. And finally in a privileged mode, a particular SPSR saved program status register is used and this stores a copy of the previous CPSR value when an exception occurs. And this SPSR is combined with the link register which allows exceptions to return without corrupting a processor state to resume the process. We have to pay a special attention on a program counter. In ARM, all instructions are 32 bit wide and all instructions must be word aligned. Therefore, the PC value is stored in bits 31 to 2 with the bits 1, 0 undefined as instructions cannot be the half word or a byte aligned. Whereas if processor is executing in thumb state, all the instructions are 16 bit wide and the all instructions must be half word aligned. And therefore the PC value is stored into the bit 1 to 31 with the bit 0 is undefined as, as I have already explained above instructions cannot be byte aligned. The processor contains one CPSR and the five SPSR for the exception handlers to the use. The program status registers hold the information about the most recently performed ALU operation and it also controls the enabling and the disabling of interrupts. And it, and it also set the processor operation mode either in thumb mode or R mode. And each register set is 32 bit long as I have already told you. Bit 5 is specified thumb mode or R mode. Bit 6 and 7 used for a interrupt control. Bit 8 to 23 is reserved for a future user. Bit 27 to 31 helps to find out the status of most recent ALU arithmetic and the logic operation status. Bit 0 to 4 is specify mode operation and this mode bits is specify mode of operation of processor. In the next slide we will see about the mode of operation. The ARM has seven basic operating mode, user which is also the unprivileged mode under which most tasks run, FIQ mode entered when a high priority or a fast interrupt is raised, IRQ mode entered when a low priority interrupt is raised and the supervisory mode entered on the reset and when a software interrupt instruction is executed and the abort mode entered used to handle memory access violations and the undefined mode is used to handle the undefined instructions and the system mode is used to privileged mode using the same registers as a user mode. This animated slide shows the way that the banking of registers work in the ARM processors. On the left, the currently visible set of registers are shown for a particular mode. On the right, there are registers that are banged out. Now I will press key and which will switch the mode. The first of all that it is a user mode. Then it will enter into the FIQ mode and then it will again come back to the user mode and then it will be go into the IRQ mode fine and then in the IRQ mode you can see here the R13, R14 and the SPSR is changed and then again it is into the user mode same set of registers then SVC mode you can see R13, R14 and the SPSR has been changed and then into the user mode previous set of registers and undef mode R13, R14 and the SPSR is changed 
and into the now the abort mode. In the abort mode, R13, R14, and the SPS are changed. Now this slide shows up in a more static way, and basically in a more static way fashion than the previous animated slide, and that is more useful for reference. The main point to state here is that the splitting of the resistors in a thumb state into the low and the high resistors. User mode uses all available resistors, but the FIQ uses only uh, different R8 to the R14 and the SPSR. And the IRQ uses only three different resistors. They are the R13, R14 and the SPSR. And the other modes such as the SVC and DEF and the AWART also uses the same set of rules of resistor. Now I am going to stop this tutorial here and thank you so much for watching and if you have any question please comment below and subscribe this channel for more video tutorials.